berries, orange juice, milk, and ice cubes. A blended nutritious smoothie that goes nicely with blended cultures. UT Extension in Sumner County teaches Eat Smart, Move More. Combining exercise with nutritional information, the class is reaching out to the area's Latino population. 16-year-old Victor Luna attended with his parents and younger sisters. For nutrition, I think it's important. It's, it's important for everyday life, your healthier lifestyle, better habits. There's a growing audience for this program. Tennessee's Latino population has nearly tripled since 2000, the Census Bureau reporting an increase of 176 percent. Well, you know, the, the Latino population right now in the United States is the biggest minority population here. And, uh, you know, they're at higher risk for, like, diabetes and other chronic health problems. UT Extension agents Jenny Biggs and Miguel Mendiata offer the class in Spanish, both fluent in the language. Jenny worked in the Peace Corps in Panama, and Miguel's family background gives him a communication advantage here. But I, I grew up in Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, I was there until about, I was six years old, so it was actually my first language. And of course, yeah, that definitely helps connect with them. Language can be a barrier to nutrition, making it difficult to read menus or food labels. Along that line, UT Extension is working on a cookbook written in Spanish, traditional Latino recipes, and all made from healthy ingredients. Entonces yo creo que... Big says the class also encourages families to spend time together, preparing the meal and then sharing it around the table. Right, so we know that families are really busy and so we try to provide easy, quick meals that they can make at home that include five of the different food groups. As class winds down, it's time to sample what we've made. As these parents and kids sip smoothies, they can take pride in knowing they're working together for better health, a message that's important to hear in every language. This is Charles Denny reporting.